Switching your child's school is a decision that doesn't come lightly, and one mother's Jennifer Dane and Megan Stratton put a lot of thought into for their 11-year-old son, Brayden. He had a really rough year this year in public school, so we wanted to take him to a different school that he wasn't going to have that. That different school was Grace Academy, a private Christian school outside of Hagerstown, a school Brayden wanted to attend with his friends and because he is a Christian, except during the interview, the vision of Brayden walking the halls faded. And then at the end of the interview, he asked if we had any questions for him. And we asked him, you know, how would Brayden be treated if it came out that his parents were a same-sex couple? So whenever I asked that, the, he said, there's no way I could guarantee that he would be, that I could keep him safe. Then they say they received this letter saying he didn't get into the school, quote, due to a lifestyle counter to the biblical worldview we teach. It blows everyone's minds that they put it in writing on this piece of paper. Um, and that was the only reason, because he said, he told us over and over again, I would admit you right now if I could, um, but because of your lifestyle. That letter prompting a review by the Maryland State Department of Education, citing because the school receives public funds, it, quote, was required to sign assurances that they will not discriminate in student admissions on the basis of race, color, national origin, sexual orientation, or gender identity or expression. Since May 25th, WUSA 9 has made multiple attempts to reach Grace Academy for comment. We have not heard back. This case has also caught the attention of Maryland Congressman David Trone and City of Hagerstown Mayor Emily Keller. You're affecting a child's education because of his family. I just that that doesn't sit well with me. Jennifer and Megan say they want the school to apologize to their son and the people making admissions decisions to be held responsible. Yeah, we just don't want it to happen to anybody else. In Hagerstown, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. Again, WUSA 9 has made multiple attempts to reach Grace Academy for Comet. We have not heard back, but we will keep you posted on the Maryland State Department of Education's findings.